Thanks, DJ. Cup driver David Reagan comes from a long line of racers in his family. Since the time he was a little boy, he always got it. Riding a bike, playing football or baseball, David had a gift. His gift is his older brother, Adam, who has Down syndrome. And as Chris Connolly tells us, these two rely on each other for inspiration to achieve the impossible. For David Reagan, racing has always meant family. His grandfather, Hugh, was a driver. So was his father, Ken. And then there's this man, David Reagan's biggest fan. David Reagan! His big brother, Adam. We see how well his attitude is, and he overcomes any uh, obstacles that, uh, that are thrown at him in, in his life. And so uh, I think it makes us do a little better job at, at what we're doing. When Adam's around, everyone is at their best people. Everyone is relaxed. Everyone is true. Adam was just an infant when doctors diagnosed him with Down syndrome. After David was born a year and a half later, he and Adam spurred each other on. As David could get on a bicycle and accomplish riding it, Adam, you know, could get on a bicycle and accomplish riding too. He would stick to it. He just wouldn't give up. He'd keep trying and keep trying. And I think that really sent a good message not only to all of us, but especially to David. Uh, we do baseball together, baseball together too, football too. Uh, we took karate. I got your belt, he got orange belt. Racing in NASCAR was something Adam could not do. As David started rising through the ranks though, Adam found his own niche handling NASCAR merchandise for Speedway Motorsports. But where Adam loves to be most of all is here at the track with his brother's number six nationwide car. Sharing his thoughts with a crew that enjoys his enthusiasm Ready, and cares about him. I love you, Tim. Little. Some of the things he comes up with will blow your mind. I mean, he just, he'll, uh, he'll call me during the day and say, I, I, I got some new sponsor ideas I'm thinking of, and or paint schemes that he's thinking of. But Adam's always at the racetrack, and, and he's the first one to, to be there after you, you've been involved in a wreck or, you know, do, you know, uh, qualify poorly. He, he's there to, to let you know, uh, hey, you, you did something wrong, let's try to make it better. All right. We help you win, bud. All right. We help have a good call. In tribute to his contributions to the team, this season, David and his crew gave Adam the ultimate symbol of acceptance. His own uniform shirt with Adam's name embroidered on it. And this, this is just from everyone on this team to let you know that, you, that we, we love to have you around. We love, we love the, the spirit that you bring to us and the good times and uh, the jokes that you tell us. It makes it up to me. I'm on your team. What's up, man? Yeah, it looks good. I'm on your team. He's not a paid professional. He doesn't get paid to go over the wall. He doesn't get paid to travel. He's the, the driver's brother and a friend to the other 18 of us. And it, that uniform meant the most that I, when I gave it to him. Thanks, Chris. Great story indeed. Marty Smith rejoins us now, and Marty, you've been around David Reagan's garage. What does Adam's presence mean to this team? First of all, that story is great. That's what this is about. That is that story so deserves to be told. They did a great job with it. I did speak with his cup crew about uh, Adam being around the team and whatnot too. And you heard in the piece so many times the word spirit. And his cup guy said the exact same thing. This guy's spirit is indomitable and invariably lifts them up. They might be three laps down in 38th place, and while everyone else is tripping over their bottom lip in the pit trying to figure out how to make it better, Adam is cheering like they're the leader and it really does invigorate this team to a tremendous degree. Another thing, too, what the crew guys told me is how perceptive he is. It really impresses them how much he knows about the sport, about the cars, and just how much he wants to see everybody succeed no matter how down they are. Oh, great story indeed, and, and two brothers certainly inspiring each other. Thanks, Marty. Enjoy the race today. You got it. All right, still coming up, one more trip back to Texas Motor Speedway. Have a little sway bar talk and a fearless prediction. It's all coming up as we roll on with NASCAR now.